Education cannot be neutral. It is either positive or negative. Either it enriches or it impoverishes. Either it enables a person to grow or it lessens, even corrupts him. The mission of schools is to develop a sense of truth of what is good and beautiful. And this occurs through a rich path made up of many ingredients. This is why there are so many subjects, because development is the result of different elements that act together and stimulate intelligence, knowledge, the emotions, the body and so on. At St. Joseph's College of Commerce, education has a different meaning. Education here means creating individuals who act and transform the world around them. Education here is all-encompassing. Education means affirming life, standing for justice and dreaming a better world. From being part of farmers' movements at Dordbarapur to being the only college in Bangalore to host a street play performed by a theatre troupe from Palestine, SJCC has been supporting people's movements and giving space to express opinions without fear of intimidation. St. Joseph's College of Commerce is committed to creating a connected world. Our students and faculty interact with the international student and academic community through student exchange programs with foreign universities and international conferences, seminars and fests. At SJCC, every academic year begins with enthusiasm and eagerness of meeting new students. Students who come from diverse backgrounds, from different places and with a unique identity. We begin the year with an ambition to make a difference in the lives of the students. The story of 2015-16 is the story of the students, the faculty, the admin staff and the Jesuit community. Let us sit back and take a look at this wonderful journey that we all have made together. The college this year completed 10 years of autonomy and it has proved to be very successful in using autonomy to innovate and create high standards of teaching and learning. A team from Bangalore University has reviewed the college for further extension of autonomy. The college offers a variety of courses which cater to the interests of the students and also to the demands of the industry. These courses have been developed by experienced faculty in consultation with experts and professionals from the industry. Under BCom, we offer BCom, BCom Travel and Tourism, BCom Industry Integrated, BCom Professional, International Accounting and Finance. Under BBA, BBA, BBA Twinning Program at Swansea University, UK. Under PG, MCom, MCom International Business and PGD. On June 3rd, the college welcomed about 800 new students to the college. Orientation programs were conducted by our faculty members to give a brief picture of the kind of campus life that the students would be leading for the next few years. A good teacher is primarily a student. It is the desire to learn throughout one's life that differentiates a teacher from other people. The Internal Quality Assurance Cell, or the IQAC, works towards improving the quality of teaching, promotes innovation in pedagogical practices, and ensures high standards in all aspects of the academic. IQAC conducts training programs for its faculty, collects feedback from students through open houses and works as a bridge between the student and the teaching community. This year, the IQAC also worked towards implementing the choice-based credit system and several other examination and evaluation reforms. Students here are encouraged to learn from diverse sources, libraries, computer labs, discussion forums, internships, industrial visits, research projects and assignments all help students understand the topics better and be able to relate it to the real world. The college has tie-ups with various universities and institutes and resource persons from these institutes are invited regularly to give guest lectures and conduct workshops. SJCC has collaborations and student exchange programs with Swansea University Wales UK, Estes France, IESCG School of Management France, Kobe College Japan, Eastern Institute of Technology New Zealand, Dulles University USA, King's College UK. And with professional bodies like ICAI, ACCA, SEMA, and with industries such as ISC, EDI, NSC FKCCI, EY, KPMG, GS, TCS, BUMI, and UNI. In addition to the students from our college, attend the summer school at London School of Economics 
and King's College, London. This year, seven of our students were sent to the 27th Annual LSE Summer School Programme. These programs offered students a variety of subjects as well as practical experience. Additional Courses and Internships The college offers certificate courses in both academic and non-academic fields for those who are interested in going beyond the curriculum and exploring their interests. This academic year, courses were offered ranging from market analysis to theatre and cinema. Research is an integral part of education at SJCC for both students and faculty. Research work here not just aims at expanding the horizons of knowledge and building new perspectives, but also at improving the curriculum, syllabi and the pedagogical aspects. The Research Centre publishes two research journals in an academic year. The SJCC Management Research Review is a peer-reviewed journal which is committed to publishing scholarly, impactful and theoretical research studies. Eleven issues have been successfully released so far. The Student Research Journal is an in-house journal which provides a research platform for students in areas related to theoretical, applied and interdisciplinary research in commerce, business studies and management. Seminars and Conferences The Research Centre, in collaboration with the different departments, hosted one state-level seminar, two national-level seminars and an international seminar and a conference in this academic year. In the month of August 2015, a state-level seminar titled Social Entrepreneurship in India, Panache for Social Change and Advancement was held to promote the idea of social entrepreneurship. In the month of March 2016, a state-level conference on digital library services for academic excellence, opportunities and challenges was held to promote the idea of digital library services. The PG department hosted a national seminar on goods and service tax, emphasizing the issues and aspects related to GST in the month of September. A national seminar on strengthening transparency in higher educational institutions was held in the month of January 2016, which dealt with accountability and informed decision-making in the field of higher education. St. Joseph's College of Commerce, in association with ACCA and ISDC, held a two-day international conference on the topic The Paradigm of Triple Bottom Line Risks, Ethics, Governance and Sustainability on 31st August and 1st September 2015. An international seminar titled Tourism Sector in India Development, Sustainability and Challenges was organized by the Travel and Tourism Department in the month of September. These seminars and conferences witnessed lectures, paper presentations and roundtable discussions from academicians, social activists, industrial experts and students. Two of our faculty members successfully defended their PhD thesis and few others are pursuing their PhD programs. Our faculty members are engaged in a number of research projects funded by the UGC. In recognition of his contributions, towards nurturing excellence in higher education, our principal, Rev. Dr. Daniel Fernandez S.J., has been nominated as a member of the Bangalore University Syndicate. The college congratulates all faculty members for their achievements. Industrial visits help students to relate their classroom learning with industrial practices. These visits not just give them an exposure to the industries, but also gives them new business ideas and motivates them to be entrepreneurs and innovators in the field of commerce and business administration. Two international industrial visits were organized to Europe to study their business and management practices. BBM students visited Italy, Spain and France and BCom and BCom TT students visited Hungary, Czech Republic, Austria and Italy. A number of domestic industrial visits were also organized to study local industrial practices. Real education begins with experience, and experience can be found only if one steps out of one's comfort zones. Outreach programs form the core of education at SJCC. They are an integral part of the curriculum. These programs are also a way of using academic knowledge for the betterment of society. Social internships and community service are mandatory for awarding degrees. Associations at SJCC organize events throughout the year aimed at developing an understanding of our society, connecting with marginalized communities and 
reaching out to those in immediate need of our help. National Service Scheme works with the motto, Not Me, But You. NSS conducted a blood donation camp in association with St. John's Medical College and Nimhans. They celebrated Independence Day with government school children and raised voting awareness for the recently held BBMP elections. This year's annual rural exposure camp was held at a village in Margari Taluk. A number of activities including medical camp and RTI workshop were conducted for the villagers. The Centre for Social Action goes by the motto, Care, Connect, Change. They had a recce at KS Garden Slums in association with the NGO, Care. The members of the association visited the government Urdu school and taught computers, math and art to the students. Around 40 students, in collaboration with the Karnataka Raja Raita Sangha, embarked on a four-day rural camp to Bhuminahalli village in Dodbalapur district. CSA also conducted a two-day workshop for students titled Beyond Tolerance Towards Acceptance. The workshop also featured a student panel. All India Catholic University Federation Association of the College organized various programs to raise awareness in the society, like conducting paper drives for Environment Day, blind walk organized in collaboration with Narayana Netrale, waste segregation projects and rallies. It organized various gospel events for Kalotsav and also conducted a pet show. The Gospel Fest Revelations with the theme Year of Mercy, organized in the month of February, made participants understand the importance of mercy in today's world. ICAF also conducted the Igniter's Youth Retreat. The Rotary Club with its motto, Dream, Believe, Achieve, has conducted activities in association with its parent club, like visiting orphanages, government care centres, conducting leadership programmes, heritage walks and visit to government schools and has given a wide exposure to its members. In the month of February, the club conducted a book drive to encourage the habit of reading. Eco Club is the newest addition to the social service associations at SGCC. It was formed with a view to inculcate awareness about the environment among the students on campus. The club has tie-ups with various NGOs in the city such as Daily Dump and Sahas. MCOM students visited Manvi Taluk in Raichur district of Karnataka in October as part of their rural exposure camp. The main objective of this four-day program was to give an exposure to the rural life. In the first week of December, all associations came together to observe Human Rights Week by organizing various competition and events. And on December 10th, as part of the World Human Rights Day, the entire college assembled in front of the town hall under the banner of Youth for Peace and Plurality to register our protest against the murder of Professor M.M. M. Kalburgi. Our students were also a part of the solidarity protests against discrimination and injustice in the society. A student's academic progress and emotional well-being are of utmost importance to the college. A number of initiatives have been taken to instill confidence and provide support to the students. Igniters is a three-day program that seeks to empower students to deal with issues like self-esteem, peer pressure and motivation. Its main objective is to ignite the dormant spark in each student and to help them actualize their value and potential. The counselling department offers help by having regular consultation with students who are in need of help. The department conducts seminars and workshops for students to deal with both academic and personal life. The department also identifies deserving students for scholarships awarded by the management. Each class is assigned a mentor who will monitor the academic progress and attendance of students. Parent-teacher meetings are conducted every semester to keep the parents updated and also to give an opportunity to interact with the teachers. Apart from the classroom, students learn a lot by interacting with each other and with the faculty members. The Student Council of SGCC is one such forum which promotes student interaction. The council is formed through democratically conducted elections. Electronic voting machines were used to maintain transparency. The investiture ceremony of the council was held in June. Apart from organizing various fests in the college, the Student Council was also very active in taking up charity work. Cultural and business festivals at SJCC add color to the campus life. These festivals give students an opportunity to transform their knowledge and potential into creative acts. Ellipsis The first intercollegiate literary fest featuring a student debate. Cypher The intercollegiate business fest with the theme of Game of Thrones. Klotsav, 
the Intercollegiate Cultural Fest with the theme of time travel. Dwani, the Intercollegiate Cultural Fest with the theme of Dwani, the movie. Chanakya, the annual intercollege business fest with the theme of Creatio Ex Nihilo. Eves, the ladies fest. Turas, the travel and tourism fest with the theme of Wanderlust. Fiesta, a fest for children. And Virtuoso 2.0 the Intercollegiate Management Online Fest with the theme of the Dawn of the Armistice. Serenata Choral, the performing choir of the college, is a well-reputed choir in Bangalore. Serenata Choral has competed and won prizes in many competitions and is also performed for college occasions. This year's annual concert, Come Together, held in the month of February, witnessed four acoustic groups and three college choirs performing in harmony. The proceeds of the concert was donated to charity foundations. ESEL, the entrepreneurship cell, gives students an opportunity to develop entrepreneurial skills. The cell organized Marche, the intercollegiate entrepreneurship meet. During this meet, self-motivated entrepreneurs were allowed to put up stalls to sell product and services. JBC, the Josephite Business Club is a forum for students to experiment with their business ideas and learn from special talks by successful businessmen. It organized the Hall of Fame exhibition on successful businessmen and women. The Women's Cell is committed to redefine and reaffirm a just position for women in society. The Cell conducts guest lectures, seminars, poetry performances and film screenings on gender issues. Finarians, the finance club of the college, works towards creating financial literacy among laypersons. It has conducted classes in schools and organized exhibitions to promote financial literacy. Hashmi Theatre Forum Named in the memory of the famous street theatre director, Saftar Hashmi. The forum creates space for students to express themselves through theatre. This year, the forum played host to a touring street play performed by Janam from Delhi and the Freedom Theatre from Palestine. Enact, the most famous intercollegiate theatre festival held in Bangalore was organised by Hashmi Theatre Forum. The fest witnessed some spectacular performances by theatre troops from across Bangalore. The limelight was on the three home productions, Riti Ki Kahani in Hindi, Teera Dharatri in Kannada and Voizak in English. All three shows received wide appreciation from the audience. Sports and athletics play a vital role in the life of students at SJCC. After selections and induction ceremony, the teams began their practice with the coaches guiding and motivating them. The teams have been successful at every tournament that they have taken part in, winning 39 trophies in sports and 10 medals in athletics. 42 students took part in university and state level tournaments, including one student who represented India and won a silver medal in athletics. The annual sports tournament has been carrying on the passion towards sports and athletics for over 26 years. In keeping with tradition, Spiel 2015-16 was kick-started with a 3.5 km Spiel run. The events of the sports carnival were spread over a week. The various sports in which colleges participated included basketball, football, hockey, throwball, tennis, table tennis and cricket. This year, we saw massive participation with over 50 teams from various colleges competing for the top place. Campus placements. At SGCC, all efforts are made to ensure that students are prepared for the work environment. The placement cell organizes several programs, workshops and talks that train outgoing students to write aptitude tests, face interviews, make presentations and to get adapted to the work environment. This academic year, companies like Goldman Sachs, EY, Deloitte, KPMG and others have recruited a great number of students through in-campus placements. The college has introduced technological upgrades that make teaching, learning and the evaluation process smooth, simple and transparent. Through enterprise resource planning, the faculty can now update research and publication details, upload attendance and marks, monitor student attendance. The students can view their attendance and marks, download marks cards and other documents, select allied optional and elective subjects, provide feedback and make payment through online payment gateway. Moodle, the open source software for online learning, has been upgraded to create online courses, distribute course materials and conduct online exam. And to finally conclude, here is Salil Shetty, the General Secretary of Amnesty International and an alumnus of our college addressing the United Nations. In it, we also find the vision of Jesuit education. 
inequality, injustice, environmental destruction, and corruption are a toxic combination. There is declining trust in governments and big corporations, and young people across the world are rising in protest. Horrific <laughs> horrific conflicts are destroying communities and countries and have fueled the largest global refugee crisis since the Second World War. You cannot claim to support sustainable development when you are reluctant to reduce the consumption of the rich or transfer technology. You cannot preach about human rights while practicing mass surveillance. You cannot lecture about peace while being the world's largest manufacturer of arms. You cannot allow... You cannot allow your corporations to use financial and tax loopholes while railing against corruption. You cannot adopt the Sustainable Development Goals and at the same time attack and arrest peaceful protesters and dissenters. You cannot, you cannot launch these goals and in parallel deny a safe and legal route to refugees, a life with dignity. Yesterday, in many parts of the world, thousands of people marched for the goals to light the way. They called for authentic leadership from you, leadership with integrity, leadership from the heart. I know that you can live up to their hopes. Thank you. Namaste.